That image right there is the personification of badass, and we'll talk more about that in a few seconds, but first, it's being reported, the rumors are flying on the internet, that Arnold Schwarzenegger will be the villainous human bad guy in the upcoming sequel to Avatar. Now, if you didn't already know they're making a sequel to Avatar, well, get ready for this. They're making three more sequels to Avatar. In 2016, you'll get Avatar 2. In 2017, you'll get Avatar 3. And in 2018, well, you'll get Avatar 4. Now, Fox, the studio behind the Avatar films, has officially said that Arnold will not be in these movies. They said he's not going to be in the sequel. There's no plans to have him in these movies. Now, let's just back up for a second because movie studios lie. It's been proven time and time again. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Then we see the trailer and it really does happen. Don't put much faith or stock into it because I still have a feeling James Cameron wants to work with Arnold again. Every time these two guys work together, we got gold. Terminator 1, Terminator T2, Judgment Day. I basically defined my life after this movie, and then we got True Lies. It was good. But I think we can all agree, the best thing about that movie was the scene where Jamie Lee Curtis is doing her strip tease routine. Yeah, that was before she started doing all those yogurt commercials. <sighs> Okay, let's plunge the heads of the guilty down into the filth and pull them back. I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's being said that Arnold's character will play a general in this movie, a humanized villain. Now, let's back up for a second. That reminds me of something. In the first Avatar movie, we sort of already had that character, played by Stephen Lang. Now, Stephen Lang in the first movie played like a middle-aged, military, badass, mercenary type role, who at the end of the movie had a big robot suit and a huge knife. Now, this kind of reminds me of what they're saying about Arnold's new character. Now, just for the sake of argument, let's pretend that Arnold is actually going Going to be in this movie as a humanized villainous bad guy general okay but here's my theory here's where I think they're gonna go with this story now this is all speculation for my brain but here it goes to you let's say all of those things are actually going to happen Arnold and Stephen Ling's character might be friends or brothers or some way closely connected and Arnold's like you know what we're going back to Pandora to kick those tall blue alien asses okay so that's the direction I'd like to see his character go which is I think the obvious thing okay but here's where it gets crazy here's where I want it to go Arnold wants to fight fire with fire. He knows that he can't go one-on-one -on -one in his humanized body against these avatars. And we already did the robot thing in the first movie, so he can't jump in another robot suit and fight Jake Sully because it's already been done in the first movie. I need a version of myself in avatar form. Make me blue! So that's what they do. Scientists basically develop an avatar based around him. They transfer his consciousness. Now, speaking of a blue buffed out version of Arnold, here's a quick flip back for you. In the early 1990s, we almost got that. They were actually going to make Arnold Schwarzenegger Dr. Manhattan in the movie Watchmen. They were just going to paint his buff body blue. And let's continue on with my idea for Arnold's character in Avatar 2. So you have an avatar version of Arnold, okay? He steps off this plane. He's all buffed out. He's got his Gatlin gun. He's blue. He's going into the woods. Maybe there's like a team of mercenaries with them. They have to kill all the Na'vi so the corporate assholes can come in there and take more unobtainium. Jake Sully, what are you waiting for? Kill me, kill me, now I'm here! Now imagine that scene in the upcoming Avatar movie, okay? Imagine Arnold. He's in Avatar form. He's all buffed out in his prime. He's got like a wound right there, a little bit of blood flowing out of it. He's got a knife in one hand. He's looking like a badass. Maybe put a little bandana around his head. I don't know. But anyway, imagine him going up against like five Na'vi, okay? It's just him against them and they're out in the wilderness and they know what they're doing but he is a warrior okay so he sets up all these booby traps it's this man against them now that'd be a really cool like 20 or 30 minute segment in a movie yeah pretty much I just want to see predators meets avatar at least at one point in this movie just imagine how cool and awesome that would be now I'm sure they're gonna have some other subplots in this movie but you know basically I want to see mercenary badass avatar version of Schwarzenegger going into the Pandora to kick Jake Sully's ass okay that's what I want Give me that, and that right there will sell a billion dollars in tickets. Maybe two. I might give it two. One for each peck on Arnold's chest. I would love to see a villainous Arnold once again, because the last time we got to see a bad guy version of Arnold on screen, well, this is what we got. So that's my take on all this. Let me know what yours is down below in the comments. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my last video. It's a movie review for the movie Insidious Chapter 2. It gets a little bit weird, a little bit creepy. We talk about Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll put an annotation to that after this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.